Mr. Chris Bradley, uh, champion today. Yep. Yep. Got the gold. You know, talk to me about your day a little bit and uh, what was working for you out there. A couple, couple nice wins. Yeah. Um, so my first match, the guy forfeited. Don't know why, but um, scary. Was, yeah. Maybe intimidation. <laughs> and then the second match, it was pretty good. It was um, against uh, some guy from Mexico. He's pretty strong. He had a really good stance, and it was kind of like annoying to wrestle him, but. I ended up winning seven to two, and then came to the finals. Uh, had a guy from Colombia, strong guy. Uh, he teched everyone else in the bracket. I beat him five zero. I hit him with a Greco fireman, which came in clutch because I couldn't really roll him. Strong guy. And what were you feeling out there? I mean, it seemed like in in the finals. I mean, he was really like coming forward. Yeah, yeah. You, you were holding your ground really. Solid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, talk about that fight. The, that so battle. he was looking for that passivity. Um, I didn't want to give it to him. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what he had on top. So I was just holding my ground, pushing back, and he was pushing back. But uh, thankfully, there was no passivity. Um, so you have a world championship coming up. Yeah. You know, U17, right? Yeah. So this is obviously a, a step up from that. So there's there's two questions that I would have on this front. <coughs> How does getting an international tournament in Pan Am's help you prepare for a world championship and how does wrestling against the more mature athletes help you for your age, age group? Yeah, um, I mean, any tournament before another tournament, I guess, or a bigger one is, is always some help, you know. Uh, if you happen to lose, there's always lessons from there. And if you win, there's always, you know, there's still lessons to be learned. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's good that I get to wrestle older people especially since um, I'm still U17. Uh, I mean, they give me a good look. They they kind of are more mature, so they know exactly what to pick on if there's any sort of fault. They usually try to, you know, use that against you. But, I mean, I did pretty well, I guess. Why do you think you're successful in this age group, you know, even though you're, you're a group below? Like, what... What about I think your it's style? I think it's just the basics. I mean, I stick to the basics. My stance is it's good. I don't falter. Um, it's all basically the same concept. Whether you're wrestling like a 15 year old or you're wrestling like a seasoned professional, 25 year old, 30 year old, it's the same concept. You just gotta go by the rules of engagement. Who are you training with? Who, who are you banging with at home? And, and it's my brother. I train at home with my dad. Um, he used to be on the Iranian national team, and just my brother and I, we have some mats in our backyard. That's basically it. Just, just throwing the yeah. throwing and sometimes, bones in the backyard. And, and like every other day, I go to my high school with my coach, uh, Jimmy, and you know, we work, there's more space there. But yeah, we're just in our backyards, like throwing each other. There's uh, a couple mats out there, but sometimes we hit our head on the <laughs> concrete. But. That explains it. That, that explains, explains a lot. lot. It All does. Right, now it does. this whole trip makes sense to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, you mentioned your dad. What? What's the biggest lesson that you've learned from your dad in his journey? Um, my dad tells me that uh, before matches, like the only thing to be uh, afraid of is fear itself. Um, so I mean, that's that's something I've carried, especially during uh, my matches or before my matches. It kind of reassures me that. The worst thing to do is probably just have fright, be nervous, you know, second guess yourself. So it's just best to have some more confidence. Um, your preparation for the World Championship <coughs> starts now, basically. Um, you know, what do you think you need to do to win a world title? Um, work a little bit more on parterre, um, polish some things up, especially with my stance. There's a, one or two problems uh, with how I dig my underhooks. But other than that, I feel like um, just the overwhelming amount of underhooks will probably um, allow me to win, hopefully, <laughs> some matches. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, just wrap things up. Anyone back home you want to give a shout out to, say hi to from Chile? Just to my family, um, to, my, uh, to my dad, uh, my mom. My buddy here, bud, and uh, yeah, to my friends. So, cool. Thank you.